Hi, welcome to this tour of the Idaho State Legislature website. I appreciate you joining me. A lot of times I get people who request information about how to get more engaged in state government and how to track legislation on our website. So hopefully today uh, this will be a good uh, resource for you to use in the future. So what this video will include is how to find who represents you, if it's not me, how to find the membership of legislative committees, and how to contact those committees when you have concerns about legislation. Where to find the committee minutes and agendas, this is very important, as well as the archives. How to live stream House and Senate proceedings and bill hearings. And how to use the Bill Center to review past and present bills that have been introduced in the legislature. And we're going to look at how to use current and prior sessions to find calendars and agendas. So thank you again for joining us and let's get started. In order to access the legislature's website, you'll need to open your internet browser and go to legislature.idaho.gov. And once you're at the home page, click on Choose My Legislator. And that's right in the top right hand corner of the page. This should bring you to a page with a map on it. On that map, there's a box where you can type in your home address and hit enter and you'll find your legislator. So let's type in the Idaho Capitol here in District 19 and be sure we get the correct zip code. And we click on find my legislator and there we are. The wonderful Senator Cherie Buckner Webb, Representative Matt Erpelding, and there I am at the bottom. Not the best picture this year, but we'll live with it. Now, re to return to the legislature homepage, click on the seal of the state of Idaho on the top left-hand corner. That will always get you back to the homepage. Next, I'm gonna show you how to find the committee membership. To find committees, select the committee option on the homepage of the legislative website. This will open a new page and it has six more options. From here, you can find information on any committee, but we're gonna take a closer look at the House of Representatives committee, my committees. Well, but before that, let's look at one very important button as I see it, testifying before the legislative committees. This contains very good information about how to testify it, I really urge you to look at this because it gives you information about signing into the committee, how the process will work, how to address the chair of the committee, and what you can and can't do. I know that sometimes it might feel a little intimidating or formal, but this is your house. We need to hear from you, and it's our job to make you feel as welcome as possible. So know that the nerves can be normal, but we want to hear from you. So. Just take a deep breath and share what you want to share. Now, let's go back to the House Committees. Uh, from this page, select House Standing Committees, and you'll be taken to a page with a list of all of the House of Representatives Committees and their membership. On the left-hand column, under Committees, you'll find the names of each committee and the email and phone numbers that can be used to reach the uh, chair of each committee and if you can see here, uh, every representative is here that you could find, but also if you wanted to email the whole committee, you can do so through the secretary and that email that I'm highlighting right there. That'll take it to, that will send it to the secretary and then to the whole committee. So this is a transportation and defense committee. This is one of my committees. I sit on judiciary and rules, transportation and joint appropriations. And here you can see all the committee members, their district, their phone numbers, and their email. So this is a great place to go to find the representatives you want to contact, click on their email, and send them a message. One short note, when you send me a message about what matters to you, here's a little advice. Put the salutation, Dear Representative Wintrow, and then let me know why you're writing to me. I'm writing to oppose House Bill XYZ. Then tell me why, and then give a brief synopsis of that. So keep it short, sweet, to the point, because we get thousands of emails and we want to know what you're saying, and sometimes short, sweet, to the point is best. 
You'll also see on this page, there is a tab for meetings, subscribe, and archive. If you click on meetings, this is where you're going to find all the agendas, the minutes, and any audio or video archive available for that committee. So here's where you can track what's going on in committees um, for the whole session. Here's transportation. You can also click on the archive button and that will take you to the last 14 years of any minutes, agendas, and audio or video recordings that are archived. So you could click on any one of those years and find that information. I also want to show you one other way to find archive. Oh, before we do that, go to subscribe. And this is a great tool. If there's a particular committee you're interested in, you can subscribe to have all the agendas and the minutes emailed to you. This is a great tool to keep on top of a topic that really matters to you. Now let's go back to the uh, home page by clicking on the state seal. And I want to show you one other way to find the video archives. If you scroll down, you'll find, keep scrolling, you'll find digital media archive. Click on that. And you can find archives from any session. Let's look at 2015. That's my first legislative session. Let's go over to choose a committee, House Standing Committee. And now we're going to choose State Affairs. That is the first committee assignment I had. And this is where we heard the historic human rights legislation that unfortunately was not passed. Uh, the Add the Words legislation. On January 26 is when it started, and you can actually download that audio, actually it's video archive of all the testimony, about 24 hours of testimony. Let's click on one. Here it is. And we're going to look at briefly one that I've already downloaded, because that's going to take you a while. But uh, this is Bill Roden, who's introducing the bill, House Bill 2, adding the words gender identity and sexual orientation to our Human Rights Act. Up until, up until this time, we had a Human Rights Commission. Which could be made. Which could be made. But, but persons could also, persons could also file civil, action civil based actions based on those protections without going through the Human Rights, Human Rights Commission. In, 19, in 1998, at the request of primarily, I think, of the business community, a statute of limitations was added by the statute. So as you can see, these are great uh, tools to look back on history. And as you could see, Bill Roden is introducing that legislation and, and beginning to address the committee to tell them that it was dropped. So it's just a great resource in our state. Now, um, let's go back to the home page using that seal. And I want to show you uh, how to live stream uh, hearings, either from the House or the Senate or even from the committees. If you see on the right-hand side of the home page under the calendar, there's a link that says live video and audio streaming. Click that link, which should take you to the Idaho uh, publictelevision.org page for Idaho in session legislation. From this page, you can select which room you like to tune into, and a pop-up video player then will come to your screen. Now, the one thing to remember is sometimes, hmm, because this plugin is not supported, so go over to the top of the page. I'm using a Mac, so we're going to try Chrome or iOS device stream. And now it is going to work. We're not in session today, but if this if we were, this is where you'd see us debating bills on the House floor. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show you how to use a very useful tool for finding all the bills enacted and vetoed that the legislature has worked on during the current and prior sessions. Let's begin on the legislative homepage again. And right below the Who's My Legislator link, you'll find current and prior sessions. And this opens up a page with the Bill Center, which has all of the current sessions bills with information. And below that, you'll find calendars, agendas, and 
now you'll see key actions for that legislative session since session is over. Let's click on Bill Center. And here are all the bills for the 20, 2017 legislative session. Here is our legislation is by number or using the tabs at the top. You can choose a subject. You can choose whether it's vetoed or not. Let's scroll down and see one of the bills that I actually passed that um, was a great team effort. House Bill 146. Last year, we passed legislation to get rape kits off the shelves and process in a timely fashion. This year, we enacted legislation to preserve that evidence for a period of time to make sure that's consistent across the state and providing justice for our victims. Here you can see when the bill was first introduced. You can see in February 10th, and then you can see when it goes to the House floor and the Senate committees as well. And you can see that this bill was passed unanimously, which is very happy about that. You can see it was delivered to the governor and we're ready to be signed. So there's a good way to look at um, the bill center and bills that are passed. Now let's go back to the home page. And again, I think what we're going to leave you with is just one other thing, two other things, is you can find the budget and policy tabs very helpful. This has the budget highlights for the state, the process, the Joint Finance and Appropriation Committee agendas in which I sit on that committee, publications and staff. The publication section is really helpful for citizens because you'll see the entire budget, fiscal facts, and some really great economic information. And lastly, there are um, the Legislative Services Office has some great information and at the very left hand corner is resources and the resources button, um, you'll find all kinds of information like how a bill becomes a law, a legislative district map, all kinds of great things. So I hope this tour has been helpful. I hope that it helps you get engaged and to help you contact me and other legislators about things that matter to you. Thanks again for joining me and thanks for your involvement in state government.